is we now know enough that we can start we can stop doing certain things and start doing other things to help our kids. So what do we do now? Okay, so I'm gonna to start to kind of drive down into what do we do? Well, first of all, we have to create a road for them, right? We're no longer in a place. So when I get a call from a parent of a 12 year old and under, I typically say, I wanna meet with the parents first because working with your child, we already know what their tendencies are, right? And we already know they struggle with self-regulation. So let's stop pretending that they can do it on their own and let's give them as much help as humanly possible. And we do that by clearly defining and reshaping what the goals are, right? Because let's imagine that they, they struggle with persistence towards a meaningful goal, right? That's what creates the symptoms of self poor self-regulation. It's the lack of consistent adherence towards a long-term goal. We have to give them that. What better way to do it than through parent expectations? You are the closest thing to them and the most important factor in their life. They will listen to you before, they should listen to you before anybody else. And your expectations have to be louder than social media. The only way to make it louder is to write it down. This is their road. It gets there, they will get there. Right, the question is not whether or not they will get there. They will all grow up, right? And every story of struggle and suffering and, and, and con negative consequences builds them up and makes them stronger, typically. That's why people with ADHD are so resilient, because life has sucked, right? So they'll get there. But in the meantime, the symptoms of their struggle can prevent them from accessing opportunities that we can't afford to let them not access, right? So we want to define what their road is and put it in writing. Okay? What is that? Is that know. me? I don't know. Oh, it is me. That's so weird. Okay, that's annoying. Um, can you see the battery's going? Sure. Oh. <clears throat> Unless it stopped. So this is just kind of a general goal. And then this is a mission statement. You guys can't read that from there. But I write, so this is a very typical mission statement where I talk about family values. Okay, I talk about family values and I say in this family seven times. Why do I say in this family seven times? What am I trying to speak louder than? I am trying to tap into my children at such a visceral and emotional level that I, as the dad, am, and my expectations are louder and more pronounced than anything else in their world. It isn't that important. It was easier in the old days. You just came home. But there's too many distractions to prevent them from seeing, <coughs> to seeing through your eyes. Right? And when you struggle with self-regulation, you're not even going to see through their eyes as clearly anyways. So you write it down. And, and by the way, this is, again, online. You can copy and paste it. It's, it's, it's pretty standard. I talk about expectations around 100% homework completion. There is no reason any child should not get 100% homework completion. It's nice for them to know that you believe they can. <clears throat> right? Because they may not believe that anymore. Right? And they're going to live up to the standards that other people have for them right now until they mature and find out what they're capable of. Until then, maintain honor roll. It is very, very possible for every kid to hit honor roll, if not a 3.0. But it does take a different perspective. But that sets the road, right? You're just setting the road. What you do from here, this is their road now. But who's behind the driver's seat? You or them? We are. Well, yeah, they will be. We are now. We are now. We are now. Right? Because we're just like, get in the car, and you just say, hit Because <laughs> you don't have time, and you don't know what else to do. Right? You drag them out of bed, and throw them on the bus with their lunch, and say, get to school, because I don't want to drive you. Right? <laughs> but that's because you're, because you're conscious parents, and you're in the weeds, and you're like, it's easier for me to just do it than to help them figure it out right now, okay? 
So, so, but get any expectations written down in step one. Okay, you cannot move anywhere else without doing that. So, so if you want to ignore everything else I say and watch it all later, that's number one. You have to give them the goal because theirs is too foggy and blurry and too, uh, too, whatever which way. 